So welcome back everyone. In this uh, part of the section, we are going to implement our first ever KNN algorithm. And also we are going to check how we can make our KNN algorithm much robust and much better. So which can just generalize our uh, generalize into our data uh, in a much better way. Okay, so the first step is importing our data set as we always prevail the way we approach in our data set We are going to go to the data set look into if we can do a bit of ED or not If yes, we will do a bit of EDF try to find out some insights and then we are going to implement our model So let's start by implementing or uh, importing all our libraries. So let's name this section of importing the needle libraries let's name this let's create out some new cells okay uh, so what are the different libraries that will be needed so it's pandas spd import c1 as sns import matplotlib dot pyplot matplotlib dot pyplot as plt Okay, so um, and let's import numpy. Let's import. Yeah, let's do it matplotlib inline as we are going to use it uh, for applying pers perspective. Okay, so everything has been imported. Now let's import our data set. So what's our data set? So um, pd dot read csv so data so let's look into data dot csv that's the name data dot csv let's uh, okay let's name this hmm so again we have uh, extra column that we not really need so what i'm going to do is store it in df and then df dot drop i'm going to mention the subset subset is equal to uh, what's what's the name df dot head df dot head i'm going to drop unnamed zero let's name it unnamed zero uh i have to mention the subset and give the labels Access equal to one. Yeah, so successfully I've dropped it. Let's do in place equal to true, in place equal to true, and now let's check df dot head. So this is a classified uh, data set, and we don't really know much of the information. Uh, what uh, these columns tells me about? So all the columns are really necessary. So Understand this problem in a way that uh, you are a company which solves analytics problem and a company has provided you a classified data set. Okay, so what they have done is they have uh, encrypted all the feature name or column name. Okay, so all the column name are encrypted and we have the target class which is again encrypted. Okay, we don't know what's the meaning of one, what's the meaning of zero, zero, one. Okay, what we need to do is uh we just need to do is uh find out a way to predict out uh from these information what is my target class one what is my target class zero and other stuff right so let's check out how many uh unique values i have in the target class so it's in capital target class dot unique Okay, I have only two values. Okay, let's do a bit of EDA, not much. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to check the info, uh, the info. Okay, and there are no null values, so we have thousand points in my data set. Okay, and then let's check the describe method. Hmm. 
So yeah, the data is uh, quite linearly variated. Now, one thing to notice over here is if you check df dot head, okay, that data is not in a single scale. We have uh, something. Okay, the maximum is one point seven two. The minimum is. Uh, 0 0.17 so it's not in a single scale we have to scale our data just remember that whenever you are using knn then your data should be really scaled up if you need uh, a faster uh, you need your computation time lesser okay so we need to scale the complete data set we will be using uh, our standard scaler which will help us to scale it in a single scale so in our next video we are going to scale the complete data set so let's catch up in the next video